shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fellow One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good Fellow Sports TV. We in the building. And the suspensions have come down for Conor McGregor and Khabib and everybody involved in the brawl after the fight. Once again, I appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time we grinding. Blessings to you and yours. And we're going to rock out. But don't forget to check out our sponsor at thehillblaze.com. The Hill Blaze is definitely where you want to get all your natural products at. Lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use my promo code goodfellow one box and get 18% off immediately on those uh, all natural products website. Promo code description. And Khabib, I believe, was first up. He got a nine-month suspension. And fine five hundred thousand. Obviously, you know he reacted. Um, and we'll talk about his reaction in a minute where he said politics forever. Um, so he gotta pretty much he gotta just cope with he he was wrong for jumping out the cage and whooping ass, all right. Um he let his anger get the best of him, but he also can um he also can uh get it reduced by doing an anti bullying campaign as long as the Nevada State Athletic Commission approved the video and how it is distributed. So that's something to look at as well. But it also it says uh, Khabib received nine months while McGregor received six months. The suspensions are retroactive to October 6th. So basically they backdated, kind of like time served, to the October 6th fight card, which took place at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, meaning uh, Khabib is available to, re to return to the cage July 6th. But I'll tell you why he won't return to the cage July 6th and McGregor April 6th. Um, in addition, Khabib has been ordered to pay a fine of 500000 while McGregor must pay 50000 A Khabib fine will be withdrawn from his million-dollar purse, uh, still being withheld. So basically, he got a million, and they taking 500000 of that. Now, I don't know if that's with back-end money. Probably about this time, it will be with back-end money. So, um, you know, McGregor, McGregor only got fined 500000 because, you know, he didn't really do much. You know, he pretty much defended himself. But he still should have been, you know, fine. Whatever, you know, I thought a little bit more because he really set the table with his verbal antics and talking about somebody's religion. But and also he hurt, you know, uh, with the little bus situation. You know, he should have been fine and suspended just as long as homeboy did. But you know, since he didn't have actions, you know, on fight night and they didn't look how you know the accumulation of what he's done kind of built up. Um, to that, then, you know, he wouldn't cope, but it was basically like a B was supposed to keep his cool and not let the words bother him. He's supposed to take the higher road and turn other cheek through the physical abuse with the bus and all the verbal abuse he took, um, uh, which is horse shit, but it is what it is. You know, they're going to get Conor McGregor spank on the wrist, but Nevada self led a commission on Tuesday, handed down the orders, a part of proposal settlement agreement prepared in advance could be passed unanimously. McGregor passed, uh, with the four to one, neither could be nor McGregor were present for the hearing. You know, obviously, Khabib sent out politics forever, and uh, some other things came handed down as well. As far as the other teammates, I name those off in a minute. You know, let's talk about the, the other teammates and see if I can pull it up. Um, let's get it in. Uh, let's see where we start at. Uh, now, I can't pronounce all these guys' names, but uh, Abu Abu Kar, uh, whatever his name is, Khabib second. Is up and um, he was fighting with Connor doing a broad proposed 12 month suspension fine, 25,000. Um, executive director Bob Bennett on, uh, you know, Ab Ab Abu Kar, uh penalty is fair and, and and good, you know. And then, you know, he passed five to one. His teammate Zuberia Took, I'm just calling him Took, um, will be up next. He provoked same suspension, 12 spins. He passed, so pretty much all his, his people got. That was involved, got a year suspension with twenty five thousand uh fine as well. And the reason could be probably won't return July sixth is because uh Ramadan, you know, he's Muslim and uh, you know that's that's a special holiday for them. So he won't be returning to the fall. Uh so at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um but he did initiate it could be so he deserved everything he got, man. Even though Conor McGregor was responsible in a totally different way, uh you know, it's some BS. You know what I'm saying? He got slapped on the wrist. We all know that, um, <clears throat> you know, he, he pretty much started this shit with the bus and talking about people's religion. Then he was getting his ass whooped by Khabib. He's want to say it's just all business. No, people don't don't just take it as entertainment. Some, some of these dudes are sensitive enough to take it to heart. 
we know Conor McGregor just talk shit for show and to sell it. But could be when you talk about somebody, a religion, you know, family, wife, girlfriend, that's personal, man. That's personal, you know. And, you know, shit crazy, man. But they said, uh, you know, McGee, uh, Khabib, you know, recently uh, mentioned Tony Ferguson, George St. Pierre. That's two ideal opponents. And also, you know, fight with Floyd Mayweather. You know, Floyd Mayweather been blowing up the fight as well. Now, one thing I can tell you is that um, they just suspended in Nevada, I believe. You know, usually when boxing suspension hand down, you know, guys suspended in Nevada, they can go fight anywhere else around the world. You know what I'm saying? But I think they're going to honor Nevada and honor those suspensions and not fight anywhere else. Um, but, you know, Khabib made a million dollars. You know, I don't know if that included back-end money, which it probably did. And now they took 500000 in his purse, you know. And now he only got 500000 Now I know he probably don't really give a shit about that, but don't nobody want to lose 500000 And Conor McGregor probably bought home shit, you know, multi-million dollar deal, man, because he got the little promotional agreement and he only lost 50000 He's initiated all this. He was the instigator in in the whole grand scheme of thing. We're talking about his religion and, and the whole thing with the bus and throwing the chair and breaking the glass, whatever the hell he did. He initiated all this shit, man. I felt like he should have been fined more heavily. I think at least a quarter million, half of what could be was fine. But at the end of the day, you already know how he got the complexion for the selection to get a slap on the wrist. And, you know, Khabib was right. But guess what? Khabib got to be able to control... He got to be able to control his uh his emotions a little bit better. And I believe they said some things to him as well um, about his religion outside the ring. What made him jump out the ring and whoop on them. Um, but I bet you one thing again, uh, they, won't, they won't talk that shit to Khabib again. And, you know, they also said, you know, I'll link articles in the description. But they also said that Conor McGregor pretty much need to watch what he say in the build-up of these fights and watch his mouth. And that's right. You know what I'm saying? He need to watch his mouth and what he say. At the end of the day, he talking like he gangster, but he around here apologizing to Irish mobster, giving him all the money he made versus Mayweather. He around here just whispering to Khabib, it's just business. No, it ain't business. Personal. You got to watch what you say to certain people. Certain dudes are sensitive, and Khabib was very, very sensitive about his religion, and, and he showed that. Not only did he whoop you in the ring, he, he, he sat there and pounded you for a reason. Then he whooped your teammates. Then his teammates jumped over and whooped on you. You know, kind of McGregor still, you know, people walking around like McGregor didn't lose and people trying to say, oh, McGregor was winning that. McGregor was getting obliterated. He won maybe one round in that fight. This wasn't even competitive, really, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things. Nobody, you know, really would want to see a rematch. You know, if this was an ordinary fight. This was a fight that he got whooped on and keep it moving. But since everything, you know, happened, you know, after the fight and the buildup was so good and Khabib wasn't showing up to the press conference, shit like that. Since he got a backstory, people want to see a rematch, but I promise you it's going to be the same result, if not worse. Conor McGregor could not outstrike that man. He could not grapple that man. He couldn't do nothing with that man. Khabib was just a different animal. He beat Conor McGregor down to a pulp, and Conor McGregor don't don't want no more smoke. He don't. He don't want no more smoke with that guy, and I, and I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it, bro. You know, he going to go in a rematch because it make dollars, and it make, it make dollars. You know, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense, and it make dollars, and it make a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? So it make money. And at the end of the day, Conor McGregor ain't no coward. You know, he jumped into the boxing ring without a tune-up fight, without a lot of training in boxing. So he show you that, you know, one thing uh, McGregor ain't is no, no coward. But he ain't getting back down, but he going to get that same treatment. You know, he going to go get the full car wash treatment with the hot wax this time. And, and I hope Khabib choke his ass out even quicker. Excuse my dog. I mean, he barking for no reason. But, yeah, you know, but let me know what y'all think about this, fair or unfair was just to serve. I, I do think Khabib deserved a grunt of the punishment. I will say that as far as whatever punishment he got. But I think they should have came harder down on Conor McGregor. Now, if he started getting ver verbally assaulted and started getting personal with people, religion and stuff, they should find him another 50 grand right then and there as soon as he get out of line and cross that line, in my personal opinion, man. But it's good, fellow Sports TV. I appreciate everybody checking in. Blessings to you and yours. Don't forget, we on Facebook. We on Twitter. Also, you can reach out to me in the email. We got a Facebook group. You got a question, business, inquiry, video request. Hit me up on those social media sites. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's always there. You can do me one better. Just share, share the videos. Also, you can check out our Patreon. Some of our uncensored uh, work over there at really good prices. Uh, once again, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Get you 18% off immediately. Off their all natural products from lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, hair pomade, muscle relaxer rubs. All natural products guaranteed not to harm you like process. Uh, ingredients in some of those products you get every day at CVS, Walmart, um, wherever you go, Walgreens, y'all feel me? But 
Once again, I appreciate everybody for checking us out. Don't forget to check out our playlist, NBA, NFL, MMA, golf, tennis. We got it on lock, man. So all the, all, everything we talk about is pretty much categorized. And I guarantee you find something that you, your lady, your kids, or somebody like. Once again, I appreciate everybody for checking in. I'll link that article's description proving this to be factual. Goodfellow Sports TV, we gone.